upon a twilight comes upon a twilight time when all the people see just what it's like to be the dawn of the company how can you know what it's like to be like until you've seen the six of them living in dreams of a musical hum Come on, you lot. Don't you know what today is? No, what is it? It's a day off. First one for a month. Come on. Well, here we are. Come on, we're wasting time. It's a day off. Let's make the most of it. What'll we do? Let's find some... Oh, let's go back. Why don't we practice? Girls. Oh, not girls. Before we do anything. I know, let's go to bed. For a change. Today, John. Girls. We'll go down to the office and collect our mail. Are you crazy? You know what'll happen if we go down to the office today. Get a booking for tonight. Exactly. Look, I guarantee no booking for tonight. We'll just tiptoe in, collect our mail and vanish before anyone sees us. GT Entertainment in good taste at your service. The Twilights, just a moment, I'll check. You did say tonight? Yes, they are available. Eight o'clock. Yes, they'll be there. Thank you. EIGT, entertainment in good taste at your service. A classical pianist? Uh, certainly. When and where? Yes, yes, I'll arrange that. Yes, I will. Thank you. Bye-bye. The starter now. His master's voice. Miss Dardanelles. Your booking is on the desk. And be on time. Doing our night off wasn't bad enough. Look where we're going. Gumnut Gully. Gum 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 Gully? Gully? Oh, the crows and hummy blowy. Where's Gumnut Gully? Oh, it'll be in the road map. Yeah, but where's the road map? There. In, in the, the system. system. <laughs> We're looking for the road map. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Here it is. My system never fails. I wonder what they want the road map for. Miss Dardanelles.
gum not golly. Oh. Gumnut Gully's answer to the Sydney Opera House. Surely they don't expect us to play here. Are you sure we've got the right booking? Miss Dardanelles never makes a mistake. Memorial Hall, Gumnut Gully. Must be the place then. This is haunted. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Beryl McInerney. Hey, hey, we're the Twilights. And I'm the president of the Gumnut Gully Ladies Society for Cultural Upliftment. Now, would you tell me what you're doing here? What are you doing here? I'm getting this all ready for tonight's concert. Now, would you please explain what you're doing here? I'm afraid you must have the wrong night. You see, we were booked to play here tonight. Obviously, there's some mistake. You don't look like a classical pianist to me. Looks like Miss Dardanelles has just made a first mistake. You're not a classical pianist. Oh, dear, who's going to play with Alphonse tonight? First, Miss Thimbleby sprains her wrist, and now this. What's with this Alphonse and Miss Thimbleby bit? Alphonse is my son. He was to make his singing debut in this hall tonight. His teacher, Miss Thimbleby, was to accompany him, but she fell off the piano stool. Anyway, what it boils down to is, we're not working here tonight. I'm afraid not. I wanted a classical pianist, and you're certainly not that. It's the first and last time I'll use that agency. Oh, come on, let's get some lunch. The battery's gone flat. Everything's gone flat. Well, there's no use, Mon, and let's get it fixed. Seen a lady with a flag? Is she wearing it half mast? Possibly. Which way did she go? That way. This is my own mother. I think she was looking for an accompanist. You mean my pianist hasn't arrived? There was some sort of mix-up at the agency. Somehow the bookings got mixed up. Oh boy, that means I don't have to sing tonight. Don't you like singing? Yes, but not the songs my mother taught me. Anyway, who are you? Well, we're the Twilights. Not the Twilights. That's right. I listen to you on my pillow every night. On your pillow? Yes, that's where I hide my transistor, so my mother won't hear. I've heard of musical chairs, but that's a new one. Well, what sort of songs do you like to sing? Same sort of songs you do. How'd you like to be a pop star? Mother would have a fit. Look, uh, let's see if we can work something out. My son, my son, where have I failed you? Where did I lead you off the narrow path to start? Mother, take heart. All is not lost. Will you sing yet, my son? Will your voice ring through all the great constalls of the world? <laughs> Please the stars, mother. Yes, six gentlemen of musical renown have kindly offered to help me achieve our long-cherished goal. Not those six long-haired louts at the Memorial Hall. Oh, not louts, Mother. They're not all over the world for their musical talents. And besides, what have we got to lose? It's either them 
or nothing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have the privilege and great honour to have been elected to bid you welcome on behalf of the Gumnut Gully Ladies Society for Cultural Upliftment. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? Don't worry, kid, you'll be a knockout. The unveiling of a precious talent, someone you all know and love. My son, Alphonse. Oh. I can't help feeling nervous, though. What's Mum going to say? Unfortunately, <clears throat> we have had to make a slight alteration to the program. Miss Thimbleby, a lady well known to you all for her great musical talent and charm, is uh, indisposed. To take Miss Thimbleby's place, we have been extremely fortunate in securing the services of a group of young men who are renowned throughout the world for their musical talent. And now, without further ado, I give you the Twilight Chamber Sextet. I think she means us. <laughs> In the morning, when the moon is out to trust, you will see me at the time I love the best, watching rainbows play on sunlight, pools of water, ice cream cold nights in the morning. Tis the morning of my life. In the daytime, I will meet you as before. You will find me waiting by the ocean floor, building castles in the shifting sands in a world that no one understands. In the Gully's gone groovy.
should have known better than to trust you. Well, you wanted Alphonse's debut to be a success. Just listen to that. Well, I never. Do they really like that sort of thing? Like it? They love me. Well, they have a boy with a great future. You really think so? There's only one problem, though. Tell me, tell me, what's the problem? His name. on here, boys. It's, it's not a stage, you know. You may be on top of the hit parade, but if you don't behave yourself, you'll be back in Gavinup Gully. EIGT, entertainment in good taste at your service. Ronnie Burns. Uh, Ronnie Burns. Oh, uh, yes, 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 I think I'll be able to manage that. Oh, yes, yes, he's very popular. Oh, oh, lovely, yes. Y well, I, I don't know. Well, all right then, yes, I've, I've made a note of that. And I'll make sure he's there. Thank you. Bye-bye. What was that all about? Oh, a marvellous new talent. A new star has been born. What'd you say his name was? Ronnie Burns? Never heard of him. You will, dear. You will. As a matter of fact, here he is now. Our own Ronnie. Hi, team. Good grief, it's Alphonse. The boy wonder. Oh, oh, here are your bookings, Ronnie. Don't bother me with details. My secretary will handle that. Mother. Yes, son? Take care of these for me. That's a good one, okay. I knew said gun that gully had no tourist attractions. Oh, and just to think if you hadn't picked up the wrong booking, I'd never have met my dream man, Ronnie Burns. Oh, I can just see us now, Ronnie and I, walking off into the sunset with his mother. Once upon a 
time.